Doing live with the humble prince on Sahara FM Radio. Yeah. Guess who's Bazak? Guess who's Bazak? Live with the humble prince of Howard FM Radio. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. Again, just want to say that tonight's show is brought to you by Vibeland Entertainment Presents Basket Mouth in New York City, June 27th. You don't want to miss this show. It's going to be fun. Everybody come out. Let's represent for um, Vibeland and Basket Mouth. Please go to our Facebook page or go to www.vibeland.com for more information. Also, the law offices of Bolanli Maiwa PC. Please go to the website, www.mayuwalaw.com, for more information. Balanli has been kind enough. She's actually here tonight. She's going to be talking about immigration for those of you that have um, immigration problems. And you know what? Um, like I always say, man, I wish I knew what immigration <laughs> problems was like. And, uh, you know, I was born and raised yeah, in, whatever. in the United States. So, whatever. Um, but please feel free to call in. And she's actually going to be joining us for the callback segment as well. We still have an interview um, with Daniel coming up. And um, also, uh, yeah. Continue. Sorry, our surprise guests um, surprised, surprised, us. <laughs> surprised us and left. So he'll be back next week and everything. Yeah, yeah but right now I'm joined by a young lady um, who shut down my Facebook page. Oh, um, I'd never gotten so many <laughs> inbox messages. Um, is she married? What does she do? How yeah. old is she? Yeah. All that. And uh, uh, it's just a pleasure to have her in the studio. And I'd like to welcome Olutosi. Ararumi. Ararumi. Yeah. <laughs> He's representing Lagos State in the Miss USA beauty pageant. Yeah, Miss Nigeria USA. Nigeria, USA. Look Miss, at you. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 to be honest with you, man, I don't do well. I get nervous around beautiful women. So. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. So wait, what, 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 what does that yeah. mean? What just, does, why are you not nervous around me? Yeah. What are you trying to say? I don't appreciate that, honestly. Please take it back. <laughs> yeah, Tosi, um, welcome, welcome to the show, man. Hi, fantastic. Tosi. Yeah. So, uh, fantastic. Um, Pleasure to have you here. How you doing? Yeah, yeah um, sorry I gave you the wrong address. I did 149 instead of um, yeah, one, 146 and everything. So yeah. now the whole world knows the address. Yeah, yeah, they could look it up, you okay, know, and everything. Look it up. Let's give her mom. I, I, I brought yes. my mommy here so I could present myself. We have mommy in the building. Yeah, my mom's in the studio. Yeah. yeah. I see where you get your beauty from. Oh, mm -hmm. Your mom's fine. Yeah. Fine, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, Tosin, fantastic, man. So how's how you going? How's how's it going? It's good. I'm yeah. happy I'm here. I'm happy to be a part of this, and let's yeah. just have a great interview. Oh, okay. you want to take you want to take over the interview she's already? Or? Saying, like, she's I'm like, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, you can't, this. Wow, you came prepared. <laughs> I see. Um, yeah. So you know, tell us about um, Miss Nigeria USA. What the, what was the platform about? The platform is about women empowerment and education. I believe women are the future of Africa, and investing in one's education is essential to developing the country of Nigeria. So I just love what it stands for, and being a part of this is just amazing. Wow, you act like you on the beauty pageant. I felt like, okay, I'm yeah. one of the judges asking a question. No. Nick, that's all right, man. You don't have to do as this shit, man. Let, let, let's focus on her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fantastic. By God's grace, so yeah. man. We always involved. Yeah. Yeah. Don't we put God first, so. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. But how did you hear about it? Yeah. It's actually a funny story. I like I like pageants, so I actually went to Miss Ghana USA um, last year, and a lot of people came up to me like, you should do this. I'm like, I'm not Ghanaian. And then I went up to the director, I was like, I wish you guys, you guys had like a Nigerian version of this. I was right. so signed up. And then literally like two weeks after that, I found out Miss Nigeria USA it was a new pageant. I found out what the organization stand for and I was like, I have to sign up, so. Right. Nice, yeah. nice. Yeah, I don't want to do partiality and everything, but like I said, you shut down my Facebook page, oh, something yeah. serious, yeah. <laughs> yeah you know, we'll you. So uh, this is just, you know, general questions and everything. Where do you see yourself 10 years from now? I see myself being a lot. I want to be a role model to young girls, especially underprivileged girls and girls in the di diaspora. Because I was born here in the U.S., so I believe. I can tell. Your skin is different. <laughs> Please, what's that supposed to, that supposed to mean, please? <laughs> See, I can tell she's you. She's not going to be here next week. It's going to be me and you. Don't I let can me tell you never had no week. immigration issues. No. No green card no. issues. Okay. Yeah. No, continue. No, but I would love to be a role model, a philanthropist, yeah. a humanitarian. Right now right. I'm getting my BA in family service, and, and my concentration okay. is going to be basically just helping the underprivileged get to the you know the medium because I believe when you're in a place of power you should give back to others and empower others so they can empower the next generation yeah that's what I'm giving back and having in the contest every week on the show <laughs> I'm just you know I'm just humble about it yeah cheers go ahead man oh so wait I know they're like talent you're supposed yeah. to show like a talent what, what are you going to be showing that's actually going to be left for a surprise exactly I'm because so, yeah. cheers, if, she act, if she gives that away now she, if she gives that away then we know I don't know no, she's I need you guys dancing. to go get the tickets okay oh, yeah. Nigeria, yeah. USA 
USA.com. Go on the Eventbrite and get the tickets. So yes. You can see an amazing show. Yeah. All the girls are amazing. So all our talents yeah. I know are going to be amazing. You're just saying that to be nice. You no, so I know that amazing. people think, sorry, people feel some type of way about pageant girls. They even tag them like pageant girls. Like, why won't you do something more with your beauty? What, what do you have to say to people like that? I have to say, attend your first pageant. Because I'm not going to lie, before I did my first pageant in 2010, I thought pageants are just about prettiness but it's not about that it's about changing the right. world and instead of talking about oh this is bad do it this is bad change it you know be the change right. you want to see in the world as the great Nessa Mandela said so basically pageants have really just brought me to the person who I am today and gave me so much eloquence and you could do it with style and grace yeah. and I've met the most like amazing goal-driven hard-working girls in pageants yeah. yeah fantastic man so how long have you been doing this like did you start like when you were young no 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 actually oh. my first pageant I did was when I was 17 because I needed kind of an outlet to because I didn't really have an outlet to right. basically express myself so I entered my first pageant in 2010 and I realized that I found my calling in life and since then I haven't done as much but Everyone I've done, I always put my all into it. So this is one I, I'm actually really happy because this is my first African pageant. So nice. Oh, I'll, you've done other pageants? Yeah, so I've right. done two, like a kind of American. Okay. So, okay. but um, this is my first African one, and I'm really happy to be a part of this. How, one. how did you do in the other pageants? Um, I got. The first one I did, I, I didn't know what I was doing, so I just, so right, <laughs> I just tested the waters with that, but I didn't yeah. place at all. My second one, I got top five, so nice. hopefully wow, I would like race. to see the girls that beat you. Nice. They must yeah. be real super fly. Yeah, super yeah. fly. So, you, okay. Let me, I want to ask you a question. Yeah. When, you ten, when I said, where do you see yourself in 10 years? I know you're, you're in your early 20s. I don't want to give yeah. away your age. I'm 21. No, 20, no, but you didn't, you didn't, so 10 years, that's, you don't, you don't see. She's going to be 31. Yeah. 31, you don't see marriage? Of course. Marriage. I thought oh. you were just talking about career wise. No, everything, man. I don't want you to <laughs> look, man. Don't listen to those women that say it's okay to be single in your thirties no. and forties. <laughs> they wish they got married in their twenties and thirties. <laughs> no, I would love to be married definitely in my late twenties though, because I want to yeah. really use my early twenties to help people. And right. mm. when you're young, I feel as if that's the time you could really do that's it. it. Yeah. So yeah. it's yeah. the time I have energy, so I might as well start. And then you know, once I'm done with that, I then I want to give back. Because what you learn and then give back, that's what it's, life is about. So yeah. I want to give back and then just be a philanthropist yeah. and just be great. You right. know? Trust me, man. <laughs> I want to know that I came, I saw, I conquered, okay, and I left now. a legacy. Yes, yeah. girl, yes. Yeah. Can yes, I get an yes. encore? But let me say something, man. <laughs> There's no better way to enjoy your success than to give back. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's what right. I do. Yeah. yeah. That's what, what it's all about. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, go ahead, man. Okay, so you're here with your mom. If you were not here with your mom, I'd have asked how, like, supportive the family was. But seeing your mom oh, here, yeah, oh, your mom is super Your mom is like, your man. hair, do your, your hair, hair, do your microphone. eyes, the microphone, nah, blah, 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 blah. So I'm guessing you have, like, full support from family? Yes, yeah. I definitely do. Such my mom, she's my number one. Oh, yeah, I love you. Oh, oh, shout, out mama, shout out to mama, shout out to mama, yes, mama. <laughs> Yes, we yeah. are. No, we and, are. and especially, I think, I believe Africans sometimes look at pageants as, oh no, go face your books. But yeah. my mom oh, yeah. instills let in me that whatever you have passion for, yeah. that's what you need go to do. Go for it. Sorry, let, let me just hop yeah. on that a little bit. If a lot of Nigerian parents had allowed their kids to pursue their dreams, yeah. those parents would be taking care of. I mean, those kids would be taking care, exactly. care of them right now. Yeah. Exactly. Kids that wanted to play soccer and stuff like that. Yeah. It's like this talk radio thing. I always used to talk a lot of nonsense. My mom, you know, my mom encouraged me to do it. Yeah. God bless her soul, and that's yeah. why I'm doing it, man. So, like, my son, you know, as long as he just says he doesn't want to be a gangster or anything, whatever he wants to do, you're gonna let him. I'm gonna, yeah. 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 He's just saying he might model because he's handsome like his dad. So, I don't, you know, I, he might, he might oh, do that. Oh, Lord. But, yeah, Tessie, go ahead, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that Lord. just threw Am me off. Am I not a humble guy? That just yes. threw me off. Thank you. Yeah. Do you have anything to say to. Pe Thank you, Nick. <laughs> do, you have, do you have anything to say to parents? Like, encourage parents whose kids want to do stuff out of the ordinary. Like, when I say ordinary, the Nigerian ordinary. Yeah. So, Nigerian ordinary is be an engineer, be a doctor, yeah. be a lawyer, be a nut. Do you have anything to say to parents like that? Like, how would you tell them, this is not bad, let your child do what yeah. your child wants to do? Well, I would say to a parent, at the end of the day, it's the child's decision. You should always try to want the best for them, but... Yeah. Their passion, if they're not passionate about it, then they won't do excel in it. So my mom always told me, Tosi, put God first and everything else will go in line. And that's yeah. what I always try to do. So if God's will wants me to be this, then that's what I'm going to be, no matter what like anybody mm. could tell me, you know? Yeah. So yeah. I'm just happy that my mom brought me up in that way. And I just thank the Lord for having her in my life. Aww. Yeah, I see why you would um, want to 
put. I see why you want to put God first. He spends a lot of time on you. He spends some extra time. Oh my God! Yeah. He spends a lot of time on like everybody. Yeah, Nigerians right. are beautiful. <laughs> Thank me? you. Nigerians are beautiful. Oh, I think Nigerian women are, no, are the most worry. beautiful it's in the world. No, don't worry. Let's meet me and you next week. Yeah. All no. the things you've not told me before, you would tell me next week. Yeah. Don't worry. I think I think God. Yeah. No, no. Uh, I think Nigerian women are beautiful. And the thing is, I like that. You know, you still kept your natural complexion. You know, not that yeah. it's women that want to lighten their skin. That's yeah. their business. But you know, you kept it. Um, you know, natural and um, you're tall and you're not like you know most of these pageants are like toothpicks. You got a little, yeah. yeah. I can't say it because your mom's there. <laughs> oh, um. <laughs> ask her that question. Tell her something no one knows. Oh no no, we're saving that for last. We still got some time. Oh, Nick, okay. can we get some split screen, man? I want to be seen with this beautiful woman on the. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, but um, goodness. big shout out to Joy. Joy's uh, yes, uh, a. Yeah. Shout out to Joy, yeah, the organizer of this pageant. Yes. Thank you for letting all of us live our dreams. I believe all the contestants yeah. are living out their dreams, right. talking about their platform, talking about women empowerment. That's what yeah. it's about. Yeah, That's and I told great. Joy that, um, you know, we're going to support it in any yeah, way we can. You. Sahara FM Radio, uh, we're trying to get a pageant once a week. Uh, I've asked her to be the judge. You know, I just want to judge the the swimsuit at, um, part. Humble Prince. Segment. Yeah. Humble Prince. I'm a good, how I'll be a good judge. How about the talent? talent. 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 How about the questions and the Evening girls, there's so many things. Talent, smack it. Nah, who cares about talent, man? Let me, Joy, let me judge the... Um, Don't judge anything. Do you have any role models? Don't, yeah. In fact, do you have any role models in the industry? Yeah. I would say Agbani Durango. She was the first Miss World 2001. Okay. And she do you remember the well, answer to the first question? African. She, I'm sorry. Yeah. She was the first African, African. to win on Miss World. Mm -hmm. And she did a lot. And she went back to school to pursue yeah. her mm -hmm. degree. She and she also, no, she's amazing. She's intelligent. Beautiful. Do you remember her? She's yes. Do you remember but the answer? Looks. Do you remember? She's pretty. Yeah, she's and she's she has African her denim queen. line now. Mm -hmm. She's doing well. Well, she might be watching you. You're very, you're the bomb. Do you remember? her answer that answer just stuck with me the question they asked her like if you were stuck in the desert what three things would you take what did she and she say? was like a water bible and a blanket like that, that you all just said that was good my, my radio <laughs> like good. with the humble prince <laughs> it has to be good if she was the first like no, no she's good I was just, I was she, just she's, yeah uh, super she's really intelligent good. yeah um one thing uh you know let's just talk what do you think about the new um president in nigeria and all that stuff did you mm. were you following that what do you think yes, about i was the new? following that yeah. i actually followed the election and i I think it came out pretty good. Yeah. I really like the way the young people were really involved yeah. in this because yeah. every time I would see APC, PDP, and I really like the way we were a part of this election and our voice was heard. Definitely. So hopefully the new um, president elect, he's not the president yet till the end of look May. At, look at her okay. Okay. school <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so the president elect Bahari, right. I hope he moves Nigeria forward. Oh, wow. Yes, girl, yes. Yeah, that's good, man. <laughs> you know, it's a shame that we haven't found the, the Chapat girls, the yeah, girls that were um, kidnapped and everything. Yeah, what, what, are you, what are your thoughts on that? I believe it, it's a sad issue. I, I, I really wish the world were more involved in still talking about it because I the believe world. it was like mm. for the first two, three weeks, Everybody was talking about it, and yeah. then now it's kind of died out. And mm. the girls are still not found. Even one of my friends was like, "Oh, aren't they found?" I'm like, "No, only a couple yeah. were found, not all of them." Yeah, yeah. That's, so that's, we just need to come together as a world and as a country, Nigeria. I hope Bahari could really help out with this situation yeah, and bring well, the girls back home. He has no choice, man. Big shout out to Buki Shoni Barra. She was actually a guest here, and that girl has carried a sign every day, doing a countdown, and you know, mm -hmm. keeping it because you know, at one point there was a social media frenzy. Oh, Everybody, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, even I'm Michelle Obama bring yeah, back our girls yeah, and everything. Mm -hmm. But it just seems like it's died it's down. Yeah. But you know those girls are yeah. really on the front front. Yeah, Tracy, go ahead. You want to ask anything else? Or? Um, what are you studying? I missed that. I'm actually when you studying um, family and child studies with a concentration in family services and a minor in psychology. With that, I want to start my own nonprofit organization. Yeah. Then I want to go back to school after like pageants and stuff, and then really just be great. Like I. I know where I want to be. I don't know what route I want to go, but I know I just want to be great, and I want to do what on the world God meant me to be, so, uh, meant wow. me to do. So she is so, she is so, she is so goddamn pageant ready. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Honestly, this She's is just so me. Eloquent. I'm not even trying to like put on a facade. Like this yeah. is really me. Like, good, it's man. amazing. It's amazing. amazing. And the beautiful, handsome, humble prince right yep. there is anti-domestic violence. Yes. He yes. actually Thank speaks you. against yes. it yes. every week. What yes. do you have to say to men who beat their wives? And even yeah. women who be their husbands. Well, I, to be honest with you, um, Tracy, thanks for bringing that yeah. up. I'm not concern, concerned about, about men. that. Women. I'm really concerned about the, the men who beat their wives and the abuse and violence against women. Now, people are saying it should be on the world stage, but you know, charity begins at, at home. home. So let's yeah. let's stop, um, start with Nigeria. But uh, Tracy, thanks for that. So, yeah. what are your views on that? So, I would say a woman that's being abused domestically yes. should speak up. 
And thank you. I believe in the Nigerian community, a lot of people kind of shun her or sometimes ostracize her if she does speak up. So we need to empower one another so she can hopefully help herself and help other women in this situation. So the first step to this is speaking up, and then we need to be there as a community to support her. Yes, mm. don't go to your pastor. If your man's whipping your ass, <laughs> leave. Seriously, go to your family, man. Family, please help. support. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You, we can't try that stuff here in the United States. You spend your, your ass to go to jail. Yeah. Your, yeah. your ass is, just, is 911, and that's it. And in Nigeria, they said they have laws. But these laws are not enforced. enforced. And I'll tell you, you know, I'll give you some backdrop. Because I was talking to some older men, and they said, oh, <laughs> that's never going to stop. It's a cultural thing. Mm. No! That's sad. No, that's sad. no, no, that's no, sad. no, no. So one thing I'm trying to do on this radio show is to talk about it every week, yeah. you know, just to create awareness and everything. Now, I'm not, not going to say women don't drive us crazy sometimes, but there are other outlets yeah. than mm, putting your hands. And I told men, and I, I swear, I, sorry, man, you got me started now. I asked the man, I said, <laughs> how would you feel if another man beats your daughter? You know what he told me? He said, oh, he's going to train his daughter to now to behave. I told him to kiss what? my ass wow. straight up. I'm like, that is just garbage. That yeah. Is so and, and here's another thing uh, that I want to say. You know, it, it's sad that some women say that, I'm, I'm serious, I've had this conversation, and, you know, they understand why men do it. Yeah, that makes no sense. From a woman? Yeah, yeah. No, nah, man, yeah. I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't rob that, man. That's yeah, yeah. That links back to self love and yep. just knowing yes. your worth. If you know your worth, you know that nobody should be beating on you. Yes, like that. Yeah. Like, exactly. Yeah. Um, I've been telling it to you, I see every week that I'm trying to um, lose some weight. Uh, what's your diet? Like, cause you are slim. You don't even look like you eat. <laughs> no, I do eat, mommy. Right? I eat jello. Well, you I cut that out right now. Jello. Jello. Yeah, that's our that's our accent. You were born here, right? Jello. Yeah. Please teach me. Jello. Yeah. No, Nigerian African. Jello. Yeah. No, would say jello, but we we say jello. Jello. No, no, we're American citizens. What's, what's wrong with you? No, Nigerians <laughs> living in America. Exactly. Nigerians no, living in America. Um, yeah. I really cut down with, like starch, and I really yeah. do more running. Drink a lot of water. Oh, yeah. If you drink a lot of water, it really okay. just cleanses your body. And then I try to just stay away from bread. But no, like right after the pageant, I'm going to the closest African restaurant, getting some powdered <laughs> yam yeah. and some meat. To, yeah. There's Buka yeah. in Brooklyn. Big shout out to Buka. They support yeah. us. Um, so real quick, I know we got to round up, but you know, um, we had 15 minutes on the clock. When I said you had 15 minutes, she said no. You gave um, Miss Edo um, 18 minutes. Uh, really? Did you say that or did you not say that? I said that. Uh, but don't I, start no, something. No, because no, he said, friends. Friends. He said the interview something. was going to be 10 to 15 minutes. I was like, oh, I just watched Miss Edo's and hers was 18. And then he was like, well, excuse me. I'm sorry. Yeah. I do my research. Okay. I see. Uh, so real quick, um, what, what does um, winning the title of Miss Nigeria USA mean to you if you win? The, the, winning the title will mean everything. It will mean that I could work with organizations such right. as Slum to School. That's yeah. the organization we're working with, with education and poverty. And I'm actually a substitute teacher, so children are very near and dear to me. And then it also mean just empowering women. Like, right. I, I want to be in a place of empower so I can help others. And that's what it's about. We have to help the next generation. Make this world a better place. That's what it's about. What grade or yeah. what do you teach? <laughs> oh, you I, I usually am like yeah. in middle school. Like, middle school. I want to go back to school, oh, no, yeah. I feel you how, do you, how do your students... <laughs> How do your students concentrate? <laughs> yeah, so I know we're... Are you in a relationship? Um, that's for me to know, and you to possibly never find out. Okay, okay. stay away from Nigerian men. We're no good in Nigeria. Stay away. Trust me. There are good ones out there. Don't listen to them. Not a lot. Ninety-nine percent of them are bad. You will find a good one. Yeah, the I one percent of us that are left, we're just you know, we're not that many. Left. Of us? <laughs> yeah. Don't let me. Don't let me. Don't, don't get me started. Don't even Look get me started. Quick, um, so you know how we like to do them. Just um, Tracy had said earlier. So give us an exclusive that you know nobody knows about you. Uh, that we can't find on the blogs. We don't find on Facebook. Just yeah, floor is yours. I would say, well, a lot of people didn't know that I was bullied when I was younger. Cause, oh, yeah, like, because I was Nigerian. I had short hair. I had my name. And I would love to be a role model to you, especially young Nigerian girls who are going through this problem of being bullied because of their culture. Mm -hmm. I want to instill in them that we're beautiful people. We should be proud. And yes. even my name is Oluwatosi. That means God is worthy to be worshipped. Hallelujah, Jesus. Like, we need to be proud sure of that is. and show that, that we're, yeah. we're great I'm people. You know? I believe, like, girl, I'm a believer, okay? Yeah, well done. Well, well done. Let's give let's this give girl, this girl like, yeah, let's give this girl. She's making her mom yeah. proud right now.
Honestly, I could one just, uh, mommy, you're really proud of your daughter, right? Yeah. Very, very. Oh, yes, definitely, mommy. man. You, you definitely did a, um, a good job. job. A definitely good job. Yes, yes, yes fantastic. So, um, one one thing I'd like you to promise, though. Oh, three minutes is up. Yeah. She has. I could. Mommy says she has a good heart. Yeah. She does have a good heart. So, promise this: if you win, you're gonna come back with your. What is it called? Tiara. Tiara. Yeah. And yeah. Yes. By God's grace, if I do win, I'll definitely come back. But I want to be a part of the show because your name's Olu, and then your, your name's Toyesi, and I'm Tosi, so I could just be like a three-way, you know, kind we'll of. We'll get back to you. No. Do the pageant first, trying to take over my show already. <laughs> I always told you Nigerian Hold women on. are hustlers. No, don't do that. She's at one minute she's American, with the next minute she's Nigerian. I could be a special correspondent. You know? Okay, now. Maybe, yeah. Okay. Get more guys to watch the show. But yeah, like I said, yeah. man, a lot of guys said they were tuning in because of you. Oh, so thank maybe. you for watching. Thank you. Yeah. Honestly, I was so humbled by everybody just saying, "Oh my God, Miss Lagos." I was thankful. I know. Yeah, I'm and I'm from Lagos. Yeah. Even though Miss Edo is my friend, yeah. now I'm kind of torn. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know. we're rooting for all of us. We're, we're all for, great yeah. women. Yeah, yeah. all the girls. Yeah. And that's what I said. The you know, when um, TLC brought on um, Miss Edo, I said, you know, let's give all the contestants. Yeah. I don't want anybody to think I'm being partial or anything. Yeah. But uh, so what you said though, you know, you're humble by the com compliments and everything. I go through the same thing, so I know it's Please. um. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> let's give uh, all the toast and round of applause, and we wish you continued success. Yeah. Yeah. Everything you're doing, everything, man. The yeah. Well done. yeah, fantastic. So we're gonna take a break right now. When we come back, we're gonna be joined by Daniel Ademo Nokon. Uh, we're gonna be talking to him. He has um, an exclusive interview. He also has a new video out that he did about um, with his son. So uh, I want you guys to check that out. Um, Mike, let's play that man. Live with the Humble Prince. We'll be right back. Okay. 